In this video, we're going to take a look at the topic of nitrosamines in pharmaceutical drugs and screening for apparent total nitrosamine content. There's been a number of high profile cases in the press recently where various drugs such as heartburn medication or blood pressure tablets have had to be recalled due to unsafe levels of nitrosamines. Here at Aleutia, we offer the 800 series TEA. This is a nitrogen nitro nitroso chemiluminescence detector that is ideal for nitrosamine testing. It's very high levels of selectivity for these compounds and very high levels of sensitivity make it ideal for, for screening nitrosamines or for more detailed analysis. In this video, we're going to focus mainly on what we call chemical stripping. This is where we interface the TEA to a glassware system to monitor total nitrosamines rather than connecting it to a HPLC system or a GC system for more detailed speciated analysis. Why would we do total analysis? Well, totals gives us, rather than multiple peaks, totals gives us one peak so we can quantify the total amount of nitrosamine content in a sample. This means if we know that the safe levels are X and the total amount is below that value, then there can't be any one single nitrosamine that would be above that value. Therefore, we know that it's a safe and can go on. If we find a positive product which has levels higher than the amount that is specified, it can then be passed on to a GC or HPLC system for further analysis where we can identify and quantify each individual nitrosamine. But the beauty of the chemical stripping system is it allows very fast and very accurate screening for total nitrosamine content. So let's take a look at how we do some sample preparation and how we would run a sample and then what the results for this sort of system look like. So let's take a look at the sample preparation for some heartburn medication. The first thing that we're going to do is to weigh out a sample vial that we're going to perform our extraction in. Uh, record the weight, we'll then take a single tablet, we'll crush this down so that it makes it easier for the sample to dissolve and for the extraction process to take place. This is then pl placed into the sample vial which is then reweighed to give us an accurate amount of the drug we are extracting from. A solvent is then added and we then stir the sample until it is dissolved and the extraction has taken place. We then pass this through a syringe filter to make sure we remove any debris or filler etc that's left over and pass this into a regular 2 mil sample vial ready for analysis. This sample is now ready to be tested. So let's take a look at the hardware that makes up the chemical stripping system. We have a reaction vessel with a magnetic stirrer and a heater, a line bringing in nitrogen, carrier gas, above this a condenser, and then a line that goes through to a cold trap that's seated within a coolant reservoir. The exit for this goes through to the TEA. The reaction vessel contains hydrobromic acid in ethyl acetate. As the nitrosamine sample is injected into the reaction vessel, it undergoes a reflux reaction, reducing it to NO, secondary amine, and bromine. The NO from this reaction is then swept by the carrier gas through the condenser and cold trap, removing any other components before being passed through to the TEA for detection. In the reaction chamber of the TEA, under vacuum, the NO reacts with ozone to produce electronically excited NO2. The NO2 rapidly decays to its ground state, emitting light in the process. This light is detected by a photomotifier, which generates a signal that is used for the chromatogram. So this is what the results look like from a series of chemical stripping experiments. Rather than a number of peaks, which you might expect from a GC run, here we get one peak for each individual experiment. Each of these four peaks represents one injection of an NDMA standard injected at different concentrations to calibrate the system. Once calibrated, the system can then be used to analyse real samples. This peak is an injection of the heartburn medication we prepared earlier. The calibration can then be used to calculate the area and then the apparent total nitrosamine content of the sample. Well, I hope that you found that useful. If you require any further information and you're watching this on our website, there should be a link below the video that will take you through to a form where you can fill your details in and we can get you some more information. If you're watching it on YouTube, then there'll be some links included below the video that will take you through to that web page and also a few of the pages relating to the equipment used in this analysis. In the meantime, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.